Today we have uh, dropped 10 cars from 30 meters from a crane. We do that because the rescue team or emergency service need to develop new methods to release people inside the car with a severe crash. We are several different rescue services that uh, cooperate to find uh, best practice in uh, tools and uh, methods and tactics regarding uh, extrication in uh, car accidents. Today we are uh, testing our methods and really going about it in a, such a scientific way as we can. We try to measure everything, what pressure we use, how much force we have to use, how much time different methods take, all of those things. The goal is for us to be better at our job and to get access to people in crashed cars in less time. Normally we crash cars in the laboratory and this was the first time we dropped them from a crane. We see extreme deformation after the test and we do this to give the rescue team a real challenge to work with. There are some different scenarios where we do extrications in modern cars. For instance, when a car hits a larger vehicle or when we have accidents in very high speed or when we have situations where a car is hit where there are no crumple zones. For instance, like a T-bone accident. In these kind of situations, the people in the car are usually in a critical situation. We usually talk about the golden hour and that means we have to have the patient in the hospital at the latest one hour after the accident has happened. A problem we have as a fire brigade is that when we do train normally, we usually get our cars from scrapyards and these cars are most often 10, 15, maybe 20 years old and they work very differently from the cars today uh, regarding safety and uh, hardness in the steel and, and how they work when we try to open them up. So therefore it's extremely important for us to work with uh, new cars. Our work here will uh, end up in a report and that's not just for us who is working here today. It will hopefully be used all over Sweden and uh, possibly internationally too. The reason that we work close together is because we have the same goal and that's to have to save roads. We like to call them Volvo's own in-house detectives. You could also call them our own CSI team, with a little twist on the famous acronym. Because this amazing group of people act as our crash scene investigators. The Volvo Car Accident Research Team works to make sure that we learn from real-life accidents and constantly improve our cars. The team has been in operation since 1970. They're constantly on call, and whenever an accident involving a Volvo occurs around Gothenburg, Sweden, they quickly get to the scene. As they arrive there, the investigations start. They document and figure out the sequence of events as detailed as possible. The work continues back at the office. Police reports are requested, the driver is contacted and the car is examined. How are the passengers? 
How forceful was the impact? How quickly did the active safety systems intervene? It's all part of vital data gathering. A lot of effort is also spent understanding how the driver experienced the accident. What was the cause of the accident? This involves the safety center's behavioral scientists. Other questions include, what was the weather like? What was the time? In what conditions were the road markings? Finally, the team will ask people involved in the accident to share their medical records, which also allows the team to take note of any injuries sustained. These are later analyzed by experts in biomechanics, in cooperation with physicists, to understand the exact cause of the injury. By figuring out and analyzing what has happened during each phase of the accident, the accident research team provides relevant information on what could be improved. All the data and knowledge they collect is shared with Volvo's product development teams, who use it to develop and implement new technologies in upcoming cars. This is what allows Volvo to constantly be at the forefront of safety development. The accident research team is far from the only source of research data for Volvo's safety experts, but it plays an important role. Accidents do still happen, but the consequences are much milder now and serious injuries are much rarer than they used to be. The team's hard work and research allows Volvo to make sure that a tragic traffic accident can lead to something good. Ever safer cars. I will get close to your heartache If you want to open your door mm. I'm feeling kind of lost when your mind is hiding Whatever that is choking your chest I can see it in your eyes that you're shaking Cause you're holding it back Yeah. 